I'm here alongside Andy Hessenthaler. A 2-1 win against Fylde. It was seven minutes to go. It, it was it was obviously one 0 to Fylde. But what character? I think it's fair to say. Yeah, it was an unbelievable day to be fair, and because uh, things went well against us today, didn't they? You know, we probably didn't start the game particularly great today, and, and Fylde were the better side first half. And uh, you know, but my, my players have been playing well. It's good character in the dressing room. Um, we, we made a slight change at half time to the shape. That helped. Uh, and I thought we was on the front foot second half and caused them a few problems. And then obviously it went against us with a sending off and uh, it just galvanised us even more. And we, even with, uh, with, with 10 men, I felt that we was going to get a goal. We got that to actually get two. I, I didn't envisage that. So uh, tremendous performance, tremendous character. Just sums up that group of players at the moment. They're, uh, they're, they've been first class. Any F Young will get all the plaudits, but credit has to go to Alfie Pavey as well. Two assists on his first start, uh, on, his, on his first appearance at Crabble. Um, very impressive. That's why we brought him to the football club. You know, we've identified that uh, that Alfie's uh, a good, a good centre forward. Um, he's not fit yet. Uh, we've got to get him fitter. He knows that. Uh, but it, the uh, the impact he had today was tremendous, and uh, it's a great option to have on the bench because Jamie Allen and Innie have been doing very well. And uh, you know it, it worked. You know, and it, 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 credit to him because he's he's um, he's been playing part time football. We've haven't they're only part time, and we're full time. So he's just trying to find his feet again. Uh, he's going to be a big player for us coming in to the end of the season. I've got to ask about the, the red card. Um, certainly, where I was sitting in the press box. First of all, I wasn't sure if it was a foul, and secondly, I wasn't sure if it was the right man who was sent off, sent off. Can you just give us your view on what happened? Oh, to me, it looks like he's got the wrong man. Um, I think Pass has probably made the challenge. Um, and uh, obviously AJ's there uh, close to him as well. Um, I'm, more, I'm more disappointed about the, the challenge on Gomez leading up to it. It was a high foot and he hasn't given that. It was a high foot. It was a good header from Gomez. And uh, the fellas sort of raised his foot and it took me a free kick. And he didn't. He played on. And then the, and then the, the, the problems from there. So I don't really want to comment it too much. Uh, for me, he's in t tears after the game, AJ. Um, we'll have a look at it. Uh, it, it and we'll, if, we, if we think it's right, we'll appeal it. What scenes at the end, though, for, for the Dover fans? Yeah, cr absolute credit to them. You know, they're a little bit quiet first half because the opposition were on top a little bit, but we need them from the start to the finish. And, uh, you know, um, they were outstanding. And I think second half, they, again, they got right behind the team. They could see how, how desperate we was to get a goal and we looked like we was going to get a goal. And then when, when, when things went against us even more so, they got even behind us even more, which, so credit to them. They, listen, I... I had a good spell here eight years ago, whenever it was, and had a great time, and the fans were outstanding, and they've shown that again today. And I'm, I'm pleased, as the, the, you know, it put a little lump in my throat at the end just to see the, the players um, celebrating at the end with the fans. It's great. Finally, on, on to next week, we've got Haven um, here in the trophy. What do you think of the FA Trophy? Is it a competition that we'll be taking seriously? Uh, well, I've been involved in two semi-finals in the FA Trophy many years ago and lost both of them. Um, I've spoken to the chairman. Obviously, every, I think everybody knows what our priority is, but you know, it's, it's, it's another game of football. We want to keep the momentum going. Um, yes, I will make changes. 100% I'll make changes. Um, but whatever changes I make, you know, we're putting the players at the start, you know, players off the bench. They're, they're all, they're all um, first-team players, so we're going to still have a very good team out there. We may blood a few younger ones. Um, into the squad, uh, which is good. Uh, but, you know, it's an important game for us to keep, keep that winning mentality.